Okay, so we're going to turn the camera on and we're going to try some shots. So, in different modes. So, the first uh, mode I'm going to try out is the Intelligent Auto mode. So, I'm going to move to Intelligent Auto. And you see a sort of uh, information screen pop up. Actually, the camera has a lot of um, help information um, built in uh, via a number of guides. So it's worth just having a look at that information. So from the shooting screen, uh, if I press this uh, button here, which has a question mark on it, it uh, gives me uh, various um, uh, articles that I can read. So things like uh, being aware of light conditions, for example. If I choose that, then I can uh, read something about uh, uh, light and how it affects the images uh, and I can move through the guide um, like so. So that's quite a handy uh, feature. Um, you can also access information about the functions. So if I use the quick function button there, this is intelligent auto mode so uh, that's why I'm not seeing um, uh, these other areas populated. Uh, so if I wanted some help information about the uh, flash uh, icon there, uh, press the question mark and then it tells me some information. And again, if I move to the autofocus single shot, it tells me a bit more about what that does. So if I um, access that, then uh, I've got these settings for the focus mode, so auto single shot autofocus, autofocus C, which is continuous, uh, which is actually greyed out in this um, um, mode, uh, single uh, semi-manual focus and manual focus. So I'm going to leave it uh, set where it is. Uh, the other thing to say actually is that uh, in the drive mode uh, here, uh, let's just have a look at that. So drive mode is the shooting method. Okay, so in this case, uh, I changed that from a single shooting mode into self timer mode, and I've done that because I've got the camera on a tripod, and I don't want to introduce any camera shake when I take the shot. So I'm going to zoom in using the zoom function. Um, because this is intelligent auto, it's recognised the scene of the camera and it's recognised it as a night scene. Uh, the steady shot icon is flashing because uh, it's going to be a long exposure uh, of 1.6 seconds uh, at a, uh, an aperture of f6.3. Um, so. That's okay though, because I've got the camera on a tripod. It's not gonna uh, introduce any camera shake while it's on the tripod and while it's in uh, self-timer mode. So um, I've composed my shot. I'm just gonna half press down on the shutter button to lock the focus. And then I'm gonna carry on pressing it all the way down. Okay, and that's gonna process. Okay, and that shot has now uh, been taken.